how thrilled are you with that performance this evening? I'm pleased for and proud of the players. Um, their character was called into question this week. I asked for a performance and I think that myself and the fans and more importantly the team got a really, really good performance and that's the standard we aspire to be at, albeit we think we can go better and we can do more. But for a level of performance, when the pressure was on, I thought they did really well. Is tonight proof of why you've been so frustrated? Because you knew that team were capable of that kind of performance? I, I said to everyone, I see these guys train every day. I know that when they move the ball quickly and when they show their level, they're a match for the teams in this league. So a little bit frustrated, but more a little bit frustrated by our reaction to things that are out of our control. But I thought we embraced the challenge. When Aberdeen went up tempo and it put us under a little bit of pressure, we stood up to the challenge. We won our battles, we won the fights, and then we scored a really, really good time. So I couldn't be more pleased for the players, but it's only one game. We've got another big game coming Sunday, so let's not get too high. Let's just make sure we prep it properly, make sure we recover properly, because I'm sure that Aberdeen won't take that one lying down. They'll be after us on Sunday, so we have to be ready. Is that the benchmark now, though, for this team? I think it has to be. The level of intensity, the level of play, the level of quality. I said to the players beforehand that at this football club, it's not enough just to be on the pitch wearing a shirt. You have to contribute, you have to make something happen. And I thought that they stepped up this evening. Um, we will be calling upon them to match, if not exceed, that level from now on. You change your personnel, you change your system for this evening. Did it work even better than you'd imagined? I've got a fairly vivid imagination. No, <laughs> it, it, it allows different personnel to bring their different skills to the game. I thought that having Carlos at the top of the diamond allows him to go and get into the box, which he's very good at, but people have to go and play the system. They, these guys are capable of taking on high level tactical information and implementing it and changing it at a moment's notice. But I, I thought that the structure allowed us to have more legs in the middle of the pitch. And I thought for a, a young man making his first appearance in that position, Ross McCrory at the bottom of the diamond was outstanding. Um, I know I wax lyrical about him a little bit because he's one of the academies, but the maturity he showed in a difficult game, the way he used the ball, his general all round athleticism, I thought that he, he stood out for me, for, just for a young lad, not for any other reason, just for the way that he embraced the challenge. I, I'd love to see that in a young guy. Will you be kind of be keeping him there from now on? If you get why, a would, why would I tell anyone what I'm going to do on Sunday? <laughs> let's, just, let's just review this game, because I thought that Aberdeen re reacted really well and put us under some decent pressure. Um, so I had to react to that and change the shape again. But once we changed the shape again, we looked to threaten a different system. So we possess, we possess threats. It's just making sure we know how to get the most out of them. And when they step onto the pitch, they go and perform. I thought they did that for us this evening. And is this the full-back union stepping up even more of a level because you're now letting James Tavernier take the penalty? Well, he, he, he reckons he's got an absolute wand of a right foot. Um, and I told him at half-time that he had to stop letting his man get away from him. I didn't expect that to see his player at all in the game in the second half. I thought he stepped up to the challenge against a difficult opponent. And I thought his second goal was just icing on the cake for him and he will be as high as a kite right now. He'll be bouncing off the ceiling. We just have to make sure that we bring them all back down to earth gently and get them prepped and get them at that standard and at that level. Because if we do that, then we give ourselves the best chance.